guys, today I bring you guys another of one of the most interesting updates concerning politics you ever see on the internet today. So, you know, a few days ago, um, Samonipa accused um, Nam the Kano's wife of sleeping with Asari Dokubo, um, Ifa Inuba, and Ejiofo. I made a video about that. I'll put it um, either in the card up here or in the description. So, those of you that missed the video, and so you can go back and watch it, then you come back. To this particular one so you can understand how the news actually link up you understand so that you don't miss understand the information so simon eh, he has accused mazinam the kano's wife that mazinam the kano's wife self want to kill mazinam the kano you understand and she has been patching around you understand according to the post he say she opened her leg for asari the kubo to make sure nam the kano pie but nam the kano no pie you understand he said something like you are the mad or something like that so you saw the post you understand so a lot of people now come to the comment section a lot of people go to the com my comment section and even the comment section of um simonica stating that what is his proof that what proof did he have what proof did he have to to back up the um allegation elaine is late so as i'm speaking to you today simonica have now come out with a video that he has said that this video is his proof you understand so Although I watched the video, but I don't want to analyze things in the videos, you understand? Since I'm going to play the video for you guys to watch, so there's no need for me analyzing things because if I say everything that's in the video, there's no need for you going, wasting um, your time again going to watch the video. So your time will be more useful in watching the video when you don't know what, you know, it's actually in the video. Yesterday, the US sent a delegation with a Kenga including the wife of Marzi Inamdi Kano to Finland to submit a petition, a copy of the petition that was sent to me. But unfortunately, I cannot, I don't know whether I deleted or something about but a, com a copy of the petition was sent to me, Calvin, you are welcome. But, uh, and they accused Simeon Ekba, DOS. DOS is the highest decision making body in. I feel they sent a petition to the Finnish parliament accusing the self styled prime minister in exile of Bielsa of uh, Biafra. You know, because this name is of our own. Sharon Tora, I'm always confusing it. You saw me called by Elsa instead of Biafra. Accusing him of terrorism, of killings that are going on. Accusing one of their own. A self-style A self-styled prime minister of committing terrorist acts in the southeast of Nigeria. You remember when I spoke to the press from the villa? I said in the Kano is no longer in charge. That Simeon Rekba had plotted a successful coup, that he executed a successful coup, and pushed in the Kano out of the way. It's only convenient for him to be using the name of in the Kano. And the DOS knows it. 
Everybody knows it. They call them autopilot and so on. Yes. He actually won that Biafran to stand in, yes, which you know he has declared that on the September, uh, I'm sorry, on the December 2nd, that is when the Biafra is going to get their independence. So, for those of you that have watched the video, you can just easily forward it to well, um, the proof now. The Kano actually, uh, sorry, um, Samanik actually dropped that. That's why he has accused um, Mazinam, the Kano's wife, of sleeping with Asari Dokubo. But for those of you who missed what these two prominent US figure tell Nam the uh, Ma, uh, Samonipa about how the Biafra will stand, you can just take your time patiently to watch it, then you still go to um, the second side of the update. So I will leave you guys with a video of what Samonipa and those two prominent figures in the United States, actually the conversation they had on how the Biafra nation is going to stand and how they were even happy, you know, having Samonipa on that live video and how they were happy to even hear about Biafra. So watch the video. Well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. After I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's uh, account, but uh, I'm going to be working with him. Um, while I was in the Congress, I uh, was on the committee that funds defense and State Department foreign operations, as well as the Foreign Relations Committee. I have an interest in Africa. I was a principal uh, co-sponsor of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. But most importantly, I do believe that um, uh, Biafran independence uh, is a uh, just and noble cause. Uh, and I trust that you have a bright future ahead. We will try to uh, secure your independence. Uh, we can't promise because the politics is not a particularly uh, predictable situation in the United States today and justice is not all we serve, but we will work towards that objective. Um, I, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to work on behalf of the Biafran people. And at this point, let me turn it over to Elias. Elias. Oh, thank, thank you, Jim. And it's an honor to be working with you on this. And we appreciate your, your lending, uh, your support, someone of your prestige and stature uh, that that association would be so critical. So thank you, Jim. I, I appreciate it. And thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, your excellencies, and dear Biafrans in the United States and around the world. Uh, my name is Elias Yersoulis, and I uh, am a good friend and a colleague of a Congressman Moran, and we are your new lobbyists here in Washington, D.C. Uh, however, you should know that we are more than just your lobbyists. We are fellow freedom fighters in the struggle for the liberation by Africa. And similar to how your compatriots in the Biafran Defense Forces are securing your freedom on the homeland, we will be fighting for your freedom in the political and diplomatic battlefield here in Washington, D.C. And we will make sure that all these U.S. officials, all these congressmen and senators understand that the Biafran independence movement is a pure democratic civilian uprising against injustice, the very same one that we had in the United States when we declared our independence from the British 200 years ago. On a personal level, uh, I knew I had to get involved in the struggle, not only because of my belief in the Biafran cause, but my belief in His Excellency, the Prime Minister Simon Ekba. As I got to know the Prime Minister, I could see that he has remarkable leadership qualities and vision. And I knew that instinctively that he was a man of destiny and that he will have a very important um, impact in Africa uh, in the years to come, and I thought it was a personal duty uh, to assist him. Already, the Prime Minister has made uh, remarkable progress and has outsmarted uh, the Nigerian system in many ways. The Prime Minister has done this with the self-referendum. He has done this with opening uh, diplomatic liaison offices around the world. And I think by establishing a proper Biafran lobby in Washington, D.C., the Prime Minister has delivered his master stroke. And if you can uh, look at the Nigerian media and the social media, 
uh, you will see that this is something that's been uh, highly publicized. And I think this is because they understand the moment that the United States starts to gain uh, more support for the Biafran cause, it will be uh, a game changer. Because when the United States leads, other countries follow. Congressman Moran and myself are your voice to the U.S. Congress, your voice to the White House, your voice to the State Department, your voice to the highest offices in this great land. And we will not stop until victory is achieved. Long live a free, independent, and sovereign Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that brilliant speech there. Leas, we are happy to have you on board, and uh, we have a lot of things to do together. Thank you. Uh, this particular uh, you know, appearance today is just to present you to the Biafrans in the United States. As I made my promise, I have fulfilled it. It is now that we go out there and do what we know how to do best for the interest Thank of Thank you, Africa. Mr. Prime Minister. Thank it's our honor. Much. And we look forward to uh, serving you in the cause. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. Thank you very much. Nice to have you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. You. It was a pleasure Thank to you. see you again. Thank you. Look Thank forward you. to working with you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chief Thank you.